questions? And as they're pretty easy, I will attempt to answer them as I go by. So I'll, I'll give you a question, I'll pause, and then I'll give you the answer. And I'll do a little check at the end to make sure I'm right. Number one, from whom did Shylock wish to take his pound of flesh? Well, it was the eponymous hero of the play, the Merchant of Venice, Antonio. And as a schoolboy studying this play, we were all horrified at the end when Shylock didn't get to take his pound of flesh from the reprehensible Antonio. Um, number two, who wrote the plays Arms in the Man and The Devil's Disciple? He was also the first man to be awarded the Academy Award and Nobel Prize for Literature. And it was the Irishman, George Bernard Shaw. Number three, the Jewish festival Purim celebrates the story of which woman in the Bible? Esther. Number four, what color eggs are the Chinese symbol of luck and new life? Red. And I believe that's also why Chinese brides wear red on their wedding day. Number five. In the Bible, which king's doom was foretold by the writing on the wall? The writing was on the wall. Belshazzar. Now, which book was it? Was it the book of Daniel? I'm not sure which book it was. I know it was Belshazzar. Um, number six. Which common disease was also known as, or previously known as, the White Death? That would be tuberculosis. Number seven. <coughs> well, it's a spell humorous, and I know it's H U M O U R O U S. Or no, it's H U M O R O U S. Sorry, I'm rolling my eyes as I get confused myself. Quickly on to number eight. True or false? Salisbury Crags are actually in Edinburgh. True. Number nine. In which African country do the Hausa people live? Well, I know what they mean. They mean which country do they come from? I'm sure there's Hausa people living in lots of African countries. Um, Nigeria. They're one of the tribes of Nigeria. Uh, number 10. Who succeeded Uthant as Secretary General of the UN? And Uthant always used just his first initial. And it was former President of Austria, Kurt Waldheim. Number 11. Which bone lies between your femur and your tibia? That would be your kneecap or patella. Number 12. Under which name did Nathan Birnbaum become famous? Well, this was back in the old days in Hollywood, and everybody had to have some form of Anglo Saxon Christian name. And it's quite astonishing, really, when you think about it. Uh, and he called himself George Burns. Number 13. Of what do fennel leaves taste? To me, they taste sort of aniseedy. Number 14. Who was Desmond Lynam's co-presenter on the first series of How Do They Do That? Jenny Hull. Number 15. Which French soldier's name? became the word for a strict disciplinarian. 
often someone who was not particularly effective or competent because they were overly strict disciplinarian. And the answer was Jean Martinet. The phrase used is often a martinet. In the English language, they say martinet. Number 16. How many islands make up the Maldives? And the capital of the Maldives is Mali. And I believe there's around 1,200 islands in the group. Number 17. Which film Mounted Soldier, brackets, Charlton Heston, close brackets, reaches out to a little girl and says, here, take my hand. And it, it's, it's an old movie, popular at the time, called 55 Days in Peking. Peking is now, of course, called Beijing. And Beijing means, I believe, northern capital. And it is obviously the capital of China. Number 18. Which singer top 10 hits in the 1980s with Games Without Frontiers and Sledgehammer? That was the wonderful Peter Gabriel. Number 19. In what constellation is the star Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse is a star in... Number 20. Who was the Norse god of poetry? In, in ancient cultures, poetry was very important because it was a way of transmitting cultural information and cultural knowledge, and a way of creating and sustaining cultural mores and norms. So the Greek god, the Greek, the Norse god of poetry was, as far as I know, braggy. And I'll just take a wee flick of the answers. And yes, they're all accurate. Hope you enjoy this little quiz. I give you a smile. Thank you very much. Bye.